finding your go-to or signature style. It's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that might be new to my channel, hi, welcome. I do upload two new videos every week, every Wednesday and Friday morning, so I hope you will hit that subscribe button so you get the notifications and you don't miss out on anything new. Okay, today I wanna to talk about your go-to or signature style. Those two things are a little bit different, but basically the same. And I wanna talk about the importance of it, what it is, how you find it, and I also wanted to mention out of the gate that if you are finding yourself struggling a little bit with your style, flailing, if you will, maybe you've had a life transition, maybe you've lost a lot of weight, maybe you've gained a lot of weight, maybe you've, you're pregnant, maybe you just had your baby and you're not really sure, you're just lost. If you haven't already watched my style reboot series, I highly recommend that as a way to get your style back on track to give you the roadmap to help you get your style back on track. I did them 11 videos, they're all numbered, they're in order, you should watch them in the order uh, that they are numbered. And I really feel strongly that that can help you, at least give you a plan. Second thing I wanna talk about is the importance of a go-to or signature style and what is it? Your go-to style is the outfit combination that you would turn to when you are pressed for time or not sure what to wear. And you know that you can walk out the door feeling great, feeling confident, knowing it fits and flatters your body, knowing it makes you look good, knowing it makes you look modern and youthful and sophisticated, all the things that you want. And that it also is versatile. Like it can go from running errands during the day to the dinner date you have that night or a business lunch during the day to a day with your husband later that evening. So versatility with your go-to look is also very important. So let's talk about some of the things that you need to think about when identifying that go-to style. The first is your body type. When somebody writes to me and they say, Erin, I cannot find clothes that fit my body. I have a flat butt, I have a short torso, I have big boobs, I have um, you know, short legs, I have you know, any medley or melange of specialty body type things. Then I always kind of say, you're gonna have to have things tailored because manufacturers, designers do not create clothing or garments for specialty body types. They just don't. I mean, there are some situations like petites, you know, there are clo there's clothing lines for petites, tall, there are clothing lines for tall women. But in most cases, when you have a specialty body type, you're going to have to do some tailoring to make it work. You also may need to have your go-to style be certain silhouettes. So for example, if you have a really round tummy and then smaller legs, you may want to wear tunic tops or flowier tops with a jacket over to kind of cinch in the middle or cheat the waist, and then maybe a pair of skinny jeans to offset the volume of the tunic. And that may be your uniform. So you may not be able to deviate much from the uniform because of your body type. What I'm saying is your go-to style has to be based on your body type. What will fit and flatter your body type? This could be endless videos talking about body types and how to dress them. I have done a zillion over the years and I'm sure you can find them if you type in the search box by the videos. Also, if you do have a tummy issue, you should watch my 20 tips to help you conceal your tummy video. That one a great one and I'll put a link to that one below. I will also put a link to that style reboot playlist so if you want to go ahead and watch that to kind of get things back on track that'll be there too. So finding a go-to style that definitely fits and flatters your specific body type. And again, if you've got really broad shoulders, you're gonna to wanna to wear something to soften the shoulders that don't exaggerate the shoulders. If you have really big hips, butt, and thighs and you wanna minimize them, maybe you don't, cause that's fine too. But I'm just saying if you do wanna minimize them, you wanna have your uniform be something that will help you do that. So maybe it's a boot cut or straight leg jean instead of the skinny jean, or a wide leg jean instead of the skinny jean, and a blouse that hits to the hip length. You gotta figure out what that is, what is gonna best fit and flatter your body type. And if you're not sure what your body type is, there's this whole thing where you can do math and you know take your measurements and stuff, but the easiest thing to do 
is just wear something really fitted or get naked and look in the mirror and figure it out. If it all looks proportionate, like your shoulders line up with your hips, your bust kind of line up with your hips, and then your waist nips in, that's like hourglass. If your waist really nips in. If your waist is more like mine, it's kind of straight up and down, doesn't nip in much, that's more of a rectangular shape. You know, if you're carrying your weight in your middle, that's gonna be a circle shape or apple shape. You know, if you're bigger up here than you are below, that's the inverted triangle shape. And if it's your hips, butt, and thighs that are bigger than your upper body, then that's the traditional, most common body type, the triangle or the pear-shaped body. Once you know your body type, once you know how to dress, you better understand how to dress your body, then you can pick your go-to or signature style based on your body type. When you're picking that signature or go-to style, it's also important to consider what your style is. You don't have to pigeonhole yourself. You don't have to pick a category and be like, that's me, I'm gonna stick to it. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. But it's important to understand like you got a roadmap in your brain. Do you know what I mean? Like the same way you might write down your life goals and you have a roadmap, you have a five-year plan or a 10-year plan. If you don't, you should. But your style is kind of the same. So you want to have an idea, a general idea of how you want to dress. It may change from day to day and it's certainly going to evolve because we change as people dramatically. Our lifestyle changes, our age changes. Maybe we change climates. Maybe we have babies, you know, whatever. So it's going to evolve and change. It doesn't necessarily mean what was your signature style 10 years ago is going to be your signature style now, but I think it's important to identify it now when you are trying to find what your go-to style is going to be. So whether that's classic clean lines, minimal details, or romantic, lots of lace and ruffles and floral prints, or fashion forward, you're a risk taker, you like trends, you push the envelope, or something like preppy, which is, you know, lots of polo shirts and madras plaid and seersucker and ribbon belts and that kind of thing. Whatever your style type is, maybe there's a version of that that's your very own unique style. Just having that in your head will help you so much in identifying not just that go-to signature style, but also how to dress on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's an important thing to understand anyway. Another tool that can help you in identifying that go-to style is to look in your closet and see what is it that you have multiples of. So you know what I'm talking about. You have like six striped shirts in your closet or six black blazers in your closet, then you know like, oh hey, my go-to style is a striped shirt, a black blazer and skinny jeans and a cute pair of ballet flats. Maybe you have, you're like me and you've got like a zillion white eyelet tops or you've got like a lot of turtlenecks and you're like Diane Keaton, you're always wearing a turtleneck. You know, like those are the pieces that you should probably incorporate into that go-to look because that's what you feel the best in. That's what you feel the prettiest in and that's what you feel the most comfortable and confident in. So looking at those pieces, the multiples, the ones that you have a lot of in your closet or you keep buying again and again and again, that's gonna help you so much in developing that signature go-to style. The next thing I want to think about is if you do want to have a signature style, maybe you have something that you wear all the time, like a pair of statement earrings. That could be your signature. Or Jackie O used to wear the big oversized glasses, so maybe something like that is your signature style. Or maybe you love chokers and that's your signature. Maybe you love bodysuits and that's your signature. Maybe you always wear dresses and that's your signature. Maybe it's a huge top knot like I'm sporting right now, that could be part of your signature style. Just a little something that you can always kind of throw in there that's unique to you that becomes your signature. That's kind of fun. You don't have to do that, but I feel like that's a fun thing you could throw in there. I definitely have signatures, but they vary and I alternate between some. So I would say like the, the white blouse would be one and then probably like a choker necklace. I love, I have several chokers that I love to wear kind of on a regular daily basis. And then jackets, like I love jackets. Like I would love, I love to wear blazers. I love to wear moto jackets. So I feel like that could be considered my signature as well. And the last thing to think about, I say this all the time, when considering that go-to look, is does it make you happy? Do you feel cute in it? Do you feel joyful in it? Do you feel 
confident in it? Do you feel comfortable in it? It has to like check all those boxes and then you're gonna rock it. And so that's the outfit and variations of that outfit that you turn to, that you go to on the, like I said, on those days when you don't have a lot of time to make that decision, you're in a hurry, but you need to look good, which I think that happens to most of us at least once a week. So I, kind of, I hope that helps you just sort of think about this a little bit more and developing that a bit more. It is sort of a general topic, but I think it is a very specific goal and specific target and how you go about there. I, I hope that those tips help you figure out a way, give you an easier way to go about figuring out what your go-to signature style is. As always, if you have questions, just comment below. Let me know what those questions are. Don't forget about that style reboot series. If you haven't already watched it, I'll put a link to that below. I'll put links to my signature style below for you guys to take a look at some of the pieces that I wear over and over and over and over again. I'll, I'll link those below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also over on the blog, busbystyle.com, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter so you get those updates. And it's a full recap of what's going on on the website throughout the week. So it just is an easy way to keep tabs on, on everything. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.